world, Casino Duck here. Um, I wanted to welcome all of y'all to my garage. Um, let's go ahead and start off here. Let me just show you a little bit around uh, about all the tools and everything. Let's uh, let's start right next to where the camera's at. This is my bandsaw, and it's a, just a Grizzly 555. Um, I I really do enjoy it a lot. Um, for the price of it, you really can't beat it. Uh, we move around here. This is pretty much the sanding section. Uh, you know, a smaller uh, bandsaw. Uh, believe it or not, there have been times that I've uh, found this more useful than actually the bigger uh, bandsaw. So I will actually uh, still keep this around. Um, as you can see, the place is a complete mess because we are in a uh, mid project, I guess you can say. And uh, why clean it up? You know, because I kind of want to keep this uh, real for you. Uh, let's move on here a little bit. I do have a little planner over here. This is the Ryobi uh, Sorry, not Ryobi. Listen, the rigid the, the, the rigid planner. Uh, this has been a really a, a, a big uh, Lifesaver on a couple of projects. I really love it a lot um, Quick uh, Quickly over here. This is my radio arm saw uh, You know I bought this you know thinking that yeah, I might use it but believe it or not I've Used the heck out of this thing, and uh, it's really been uh, kind of changing into my uh, 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 well, the ability to actually do a lot more things uh, than I thought I could, and I, I didn't realize how what important piece this actual saw has actually been. Um, move over here, a little compressor, you know that, and there's a couple more hand tools and stuff like that, and this is my scroll saw. And this is what we're going to be talking about here just a little bit later. Uh, my wife has a theme of, of elephants in the uh, living room, and I'm going to make a little art piece for her, and that's what, what we're actually going to be working on as the first project, just to let you know. Uh, let's move on here to my sweet pea. This is my joiner, and I do have it set up. I was doing a little bit of deep rabbiting on this, which is why it's so far within it right here, you know, and hence the... The midst of working. I don't have a dust collection system as you can see that is definitely definitely needed. Uh, I asked my wife and said honey we need a dust collection system and let me show you what she got us for that. She got me this. Yeah I love my wife. This is what she bought me. Here's your dust collection system and I guess she doesn't fully understand what we need but you know what we're still working on that. But anyways let's move a little bit along here. This is my table saw. Um, this is just a Craftsman, the things out of 1974, I could be wrong on that, but this was given to me by my father-in-law, believe it or not. Um, he's been in woodworking for quite some time, but um, you know, he's, he's kind of out of it a little bit, so he gave me his table saw. And, you know, a little bit of adjustment and stuff like that, and I tell you, this thing right here is just really, uh, compared to what I had before it, it's, it's, it's been very good. It, it, it's been able to do everything. Uh, that I wanted it to do so far. Um, if I do upgrade, definitely I want to upgrade to something wider so I can cut some uh, some uh, some sheet work or something like that. Um, this is called a baby sander. Um, it's, it's heavy as hell, you know. And I did buy a buy. I, I did uh, build a little little stand for it so I can push it up against the wall, and it is out in the middle of the garage once again because we are in the middle of a project but the biggest thing about I love about this is that when I laminate any type of wood or anything like that I, I can send it through here and I can just completely smooth it out and I'll later on I will show you a couple of projects that I was able to do because of this uh, little thing right here so this is a really cool piece this is the most expensive thing I've owned it's called a Carbrite um, for the money it's a great great machine uh, but is it definitely a pain in the ass? Yeah, pretty much. Every time I walk up to it, there's some kind of issue or something that you have to pretty much kind of caress it in such a way to get it to work. But I have to just say that every time that I've asked it to work, eventually I've gotten it to work. But uh, other than that, uh, it's pretty awesome for what it can do. And I'll show you a couple things later on, uh, what it has done and stuff like that. 
Uh, behind it is a little mortar sir, which I haven't had the chance to actually build any kind of table for, and we'll probably do that later on sometime. But this is a mortar sir, once again, the given to me by my father-in-law, which is pretty cool, and I've actually been able to use it a couple times, and um, it's it, it's it's definitely pretty awesome. I I I like that a lot. Let's move over here a little bit. Uh, we're almost done. This is my drill press. One of the first things I ever bought was my drill press, and this is a little table I bought for it. Um, I guess, you know, the table is great for storage, uh, but overall I think I probably would like a, maybe a better design for it because um, when I need to drill something at a certain distance and stuff like that, I really have to kind of clamp it down. It's kind of awkward and stuff, so it's actually not the exact ideal table, so maybe I might want to rebuild that. Um, this is pretty special to me. Um, I, I did find uh, this little poster maybe in a uh, in an antique shop in a, a little town somewhere in Texas. I can't even remember. We were just driving and we just stopped. And um, it's actually Howard the Duck, which is, you know, obviously, my, you know, I'm called Casino Duck. And I, I'm all about the duck because my name's Howard. And so Howard the Duck, obviously the movie, one of my favorite, obviously, is um, uh, why I bought the poster. But if you look at the really horrible frame that it's in, it's a, it's a, it's a special frame. Uh, the frame itself is actually built out of the, the uh, work table. Uh, that it was the very first thing that I ever did in woodworking. And obviously, you know, I never had a drill press, so you could just see all the drill holes that I did, just making, you know, screwing things together. I didn't know anything about joinery. I just, I didn't know anything. But this was made out of the first uh, wood, uh, well, table, uh, works bench that I actually had. And the top of that table is, believe it or not, is right over here. And if anybody uh, of y'all see this video and y'all actually have, you know, you know, you come by and say hello to me, I'm going to ask you to sign this. So I keep this. This was the, the top of that table. And I have everybody that's come by and said hello, all my friends and everybody, they come by and they, they sign their name and they give me a nice little quote, whatever their favorite quote is and stuff like that. And that's kind of neat to me. I, 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 like, I like that. You know, that way I, when I look at it, I can just remember all the great friendships and stuff that I had. Now, from that table, I went to this table. I know we kind of went around it, but let me show it to you real quick. And if you could, just come on around here. Um, this is the work table that I actually replaced it with. Me and my father-in-law, which gave me a lot of tools, believe it or not, we actually uh, built this together. Now, there are some broken uh, handles and stuff, and this, is, this happened when we were moving it. We lifted it up and all this stuff fell and it broke. I broke this and I broke that one. I haven't really repaired that yet. But uh, basically, this is something that the Carverite did. And I think that's, that's why I love that Carverite. It can just do some really awesome things. But pretty much, uh, this is my replacement. This is my next upgrade from my first table, which was a bunch of 2 by 4s Really just kind of nailed together and stuff like that. And this was put together with uh, mortise and tenon. You know, joinery and just something that that way when you don't touch it, you know, it doesn't move back and forth. You know, obviously if you build something with nails and screws and stuff, you know, it's always going to move back and forth. Kind of like this right here. And this right here, again, see how it just moves back and forth. It's, it's stable, you know, but it's just, it isn't nothing like this right here. So, there's a little tour of my shop. Um, I guess the purpose of these videos uh, is pretty much roundabout the way just to the point is like uh, maybe you want to just watch somebody you know make stuff uh, am I a professional woodworker no by no means at best I'm actually a weekend warrior kind of woodworker uh, so as far as if you're expecting something professional it's probably not going to happen and when you see me work on things and stuff like that you make, more than likely you're probably going to see something done wrong I uh, don't want it to be. Um, all my education has come from the internet. Uh, watching other people make stuff on uh, video. Uh, so that's where all my education has come from and I've only been doing it for about two years. Um, but nevertheless, you know, I know there's some, some other people out there, like, uh, out there just like me that just kind of just enjoy other people making stuff. And so basically, that's pretty much what this is going to be about. So, 
that I guess the first project that we're really going to be looking at here is this little elephant theme, a uh, little kind of artwork that my wife really wanted. And let me show you the first one that I've already done. This is a little elephant. What we're going to do with this, we're going to have three of these. And you saw the, uh, the second one earlier, and here is the third one that we're actually going to scroll out for. And we're pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to put this in the frame that we're going to make. And we're pretty going to have one, two, and three, and it's obviously going to go in the, in the living room on the wall for her. And I think it's going to be kind of cool for her. And I think she's going to, hopefully she's going to enjoy it. <laughs> hopefully she's going to like it. Uh, I, I never know because, you know, whatever I make, she loves it. And that's what she tells me, and I'm going to believe that. And if she loves it or not, I'll never know because she'll never tell me, you know. So, you know how that goes. But anyways, that's going to be our first project, and that's what we're going to be doing. So be looking forward to that here very, very soon, okay? And hopefully come back and see me again. And I'm pretty excited to be able to do these kind of videos. I'm uh, really anxious to get started and get going and to see what we can come up with, all right? Any comments, please leave below. And don't forget to obviously, obviously to subscribe, like, and uh, let me know um, what I'm doing wrong, especially to those professionals and those perfectionists out there. I'm really probably going to upset you a lot, on the, especially the techniques and stuff that I do. But you know what? I'm just your average guy. Um, I, this isn't my profession, but this definitely is one of my favorite hobbies to do, and I just enjoy it to death, and hopefully you do too. So, until that time, thank you.